recently, very recently actually, a young African-American man named Ralph in Texas reached out to the Tyra Show. And he reached out with a pretty disturbing email. He wrote that he's been called a thief, and he's been called a drug dealer, and even the N-word to his face. And Ralph told us that as desperate as he is to get away from these hateful words, he cannot get away from them because they're coming from somebody that he shares four walls with, his roommate. But Ralph isn't the only one who has someone racist in their life. Check this out. A typical Saturday in New York. We taped different people just going about their business. Working, running errands, spending time with their families. We set up a social experiment. We had people watch the video we shot to see what racial perceptions arise. Don't be afraid. Talk freely. Tell us what you think, your opinions. So we're going to take a look at a clip, and then you tell us what you think. All right? Honestly, it looks like the black guy might have stole something from the white man or did something he didn't like. I'm black, and I agree with you. Um, that's what it looks like to me. And basically, when you see a white man chasing a black man, I'm sorry. A white man is not going to chase a black man for no reason. How do you that's, know? What, that's racist I just against know your own race. I know, I know what I see and I know what I know. But it's more typical in my experience that a black guy is going to steal from you than a black guy is going to shoot What experience is that? Have you ever been gunpointed by a black man? Yes, I have. Really? Yes. Personally, I have. When I walk past a black guy, then I, after I pass him, I make sure I still have my walk. And, and that's no joke. Well, you, this is that's also coming from a person who also does not have any black friends. I don't so have people from my the, the the black people, people, black. people from my hometown don't try to be white people's friends either. All right, uh, if you if you sit here and because you know we're the crackers, we're, we're the honkies, you know, and uh, that's that's straight up the truth. That's what you label yourself. No, that's what yeah. they label me. If you call me a, I'm gonna punch you right in your head. I'm gonna punch your head off. Well, I've done it. You've done it? I've done it to people, yeah. You want to do it to me? Or you call someone a Yes, I have. I'm from Texas, all right? You think about that. We still have clan meetings. Exactly. We're 30 miles from where I'm from. I'm from Arkansas. No, no. I'm not saying I'm justifying anything. My dad has been so racist from the time I was little. I've been brought up that way. Brittany, yeah. all right, how do you feel about black men? Do you, do you think we're all the same? Kind of, because the only reason why I think that is because I haven't met one that isn't like that. Black guys are cocky. They're cocky? They try to act like players. And most of them, they scare the living daylights out of me. So do I scare you? No. no. From the way I was raised, I've always been taught that they, they can hurt you, you know, like it's it scares me. I watch my news every night and it's always some black guy up in Cincinnati shooting somebody else or robbing somebody and I don't mean to be scared of them, you know, it just, that's my first instinct. Christian, would you say, are you afraid of black people? No. I'm afraid of what they could do, but no. People, when you talk to most people, they think that they can tell what race somebody is just by looking at them. They look them up, head up and head down, and oh, I know she white, I know she black, I know she light, I know she Asian, right? A lot of people go, oh, I can tell. I can tell by looking at people. Now, before this show, everybody in this studio audience guessed the race of all of our guests here today. And the overwhelming majority of this audience guessed that Jenna is black, Tabitha is Hispanic, Janelle is Hispanic, and Sun is black. Now the truth is that all of these women are actually bi or multiracial, but get this everybody, they hate one part of their racial identity so much that they're insulted when someone tries to make them claim that or represent that or just own it, that being a part of them. We're going to start with Jenna. So Jenna, Jenna, you are what? Tell us what your mix is. I am black and white. I'm biracial. Okay, so you're black and white, biracial. But I only claim the white side. You only claim the white side? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you only claim the white side. Um, I think the audience, why are we grumbling, audience? Anybody? <laughs> Stand on up. 
<laughs> I have a feeling. She looks black, that's yeah. why. So I would, yeah. Yes. Jenna, there's what? a difference between looking black and you don't have to be black. I'm not just black. I am white too. I don't just only show my white side. Yes. Or my black side. I mean, tell me about black people and what they mean to you and how you feel about black people. Um, I don't care for them. I really don't. <laughs> It's just, I don't care for them for the way they act, the way they talk, they just, they just kind of seem to do their own thing and they're unpredictable. One minute they can be, you know, themselves and, and it's not all black people, it's just mainly inner city blacks that I'm scared to death of. I really scared am. of them? Yeah. You're scared of black people? Yeah. Okay, and tell me about babysitting. I understand there's certain kids you won't babysit. Yeah, I won't babysit black kids because they're crazy. They're, 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 they're loud. When you look in the mirror, when you look in the mirror, what do you see? Tell me what you see when you look in the mirror. Me? I see me. I don't see a color to me. I no, Jenna, you're not colorblind, so you do see a color. I do see a color. So what color do you see when you look in the mirror? I'm not talking about spiritually, figuratively, inside. I'm talking about with your eyes when you look in the mirror. I would love to see white. But what do you see? I see black. Okay. So... Okay, so tell me, tell me why you would love to see white. Tell me what makes you upset. Because that you they see have black. a higher standard in America. They, they are higher standard. Okay. Yeah. Or, or if I was even just lighter skinned, I would just have a higher, you know, a higher personality. I don't, I don't want to say personality, but I would have a higher being. A higher being. I would being. be more important. I'd be more accepted in the way I live my life. Okay. Now tell me about. There's a certain flag that you carry and that you. Yeah, sport. I have my rebel flag. Um, Explain I what a rebel it. flag is. <laughs> it just means. <laughs> I guess we don't have to explain what a rebel flag is. No, it's just a flag. There is nothing serious about it. I mean, people need to get over it. It is. It never meant. You know, it's not. That's why I don't like being claimed as black because it doesn't mean. You know, oh, just because you're, you're white and you have a rebel flag, you're racist. You don't do have to, you, you have that flag for a reason. Yeah, I, I have it because it's just, it's part of me. It's a part of my cult. I don't want to, yeah, culture. It's just a part of me. It's who I am. Do you understand that the people that carried that flag years and years ago, hundreds of years ago, the people that carried that flag yeah, okay. wanted to burn you? Do you understand okay, but that? See, but see, I look at it as, you know, that was in the past. Okay, get over it. Step up, do something different. Get over it. It's a flag. Okay, so tell me where you carry that flag. Um, I have two in my bedroom and I had one in my car. One in your car? Yeah. And then you go to rodeos? Tell yeah, me I go to the rodeo. I love the rodeo. Like one time I went to the rodeo. I mean, I'm not always accepted. I went to the rodeo and everybody looked at me like, what is she doing here? You know, there's no reason for her to be here. But when I finally just sat down, put my chill in and just relaxed, they were like, you know, she's just like us. I mean, and do you carry the flag at the rodeo? Oh no, I carry. I have every year. It's turned into a tradition where I, um, at the fair, right after our showing or sometime, I will run around the fair with my rebel flag, and just everybody's behind me cheering and everything. There's nothing. Okay. And tell me about you were at the bowling alley one day and you called a girl something. Well, I was at the bowling alley and this girl had started in on me, like, you know, calling me, oh, so you think you're a white girl, so you think you're a white girl and everything. And then all of a sudden... What, what race was she? She was mixed. Okay. She was also, mixed She was with, lighter than I was. Okay, mixed with black and white? Yes. Okay. And she was like, you know, all like, oh, so you think you're a white girl. And the next thing you know, she started in with the N-word. And she was like, N-word, N-word. I'm like, what, what do you mean? Like, what are you talking about? And I just go, I said it, you know. And to me... But you called her that or she called you that? Well, I, I don't understand how it came about, period, though. She just kind of came out and said it. I and then you I just... I said it back to her. Okay. Okay. And then... But to me, the N-word does not just mean a black person. I did a show on bleaching. Yes. About black women bleaching their skin because they hated their skin so much. How many people saw that show? You guys saw that show? Okay. Okay, a lot of you guys saw that show. Okay, so you saw that show. What did you think when you saw that show? I was, I was so happy. I was like, it shows, you know, it, 
it, it helped me. So that, that show was a tutorial for you? Yeah. Not a message of something being negative and can cause, uh, no. Damage to your skin, damage to your health? No. I, damage I, to your well-being and your no, spirit? No, it, it didn't because, I mean, it, I want to be lighter. My brother is lighter than I am. I want to be like him. That's how he is, you know. Okay. I wish I could be as light as he is. I think something happened when you were young yes. that is making you feel this way. Um, we're going to go to a break in a little bit, but before we do, I want to show everybody a picture of Jenna. So explain this photo. If you read, it looks like it a KKK. Said. It looks like a KKK um, mask. It, 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 it's made out of a pair of jeans. I hang out in the parking lot. We hang out. It, it's a total joke. It even says JK JK. It's just a joke. I mean, so when you do something just, that's to me, it's just a joke. It's nothing serious. I look at it and I laugh. I'm like, whatever, dude, get over yourself. And so that's Jenna, it's not a joke. It doesn't matter. A lot of people say that and they try to use that as an excuse to do something crazy and then say, oh, I was just joking. You hate yourself. You want to bleach yourself. You carry a rebel flag. You do not like the black side of you. You look in the mirror and you want to see white. You put on a KKK mask and say that's just a joke. That's not a joke. It's a serious issue. We'll be right back. Which doll is the black doll? And which one is the white doll? That one. Which doll is the pretty doll? Which doll is the nice doll? Which doll is the bad doll? Which doll is the nice doll? And which doll is the bad doll? Why is that doll pretty? Because she's white and has two eyes. Which doll is the ugly doll? Why is that doll ugly? Because he's because he black. Which doll looks most like you? Like me? Yeah, which one looks like you? That one. 